Rolling Sprouts. So without pointing an accusing figure, minus concrete evidence, certain bodies within Russia have accused Ukraine of being the ones who have blown up journalist Daya Dugina in a spectacular car bomb on the outskirts of Moscow. You may already have heard Daya Dugina was blown to pieces when the Toyota Land Cruiser that she was driving was blown apart by what appears to be a massive explosion about 12 miles west of Moscow. Actually near a village called Boshi Vayazima at around 9.30 p.m. Moscow time. You can actually see photos of the smouldering vehicle online and all over YouTube. And wow, whew, Daya Dugina got got to use an American slang. But why is her assassination significant? Because Daya Dugina is the only daughter of Alexander Gielevich Dugin. And who is Alexander Dugin? He's actually the Rasputin to Vladimir Putin. He's a well-known Russian philosopher, Russian activist, writer, political influencer of great notoriety within the Russian Federation, social speaker, political critic, and uh, the, the man who coined the phrase Nouveau Russia. Well-known within the Russian Federation and outside of it as well. He's written over 30 books. I haven't read any of them. <laughs> uh, he's also advised the leader of the State Duma, Gennady Selizno, and he even advises Sergei Nayushkin. If you don't know Sergei Nayushkin, type in Vladimir Putin, speak plainly Sergei. That was <laughs> when Vladimir Putin grilled Sergei, who is, let me remind you, the director of the Foreign Intelligence Services, when he was stumbling all over his words just prior to the special military operations invasion of Ukraine. But whether Alexander Dugin's influence on the Kremlin has been exaggerated by the West or not, Alexander Dugin, the father of Daya Dugina, is for certain a man who has Vladimir Putin's ear and he supports Russia's special military operations slash invasion of Ukraine as a part of Nouveau Russia. And like Putin's chef Yevgeny Prigzonin, who's actually on the FBI wanted list, Alexander Dugin has been sanctioned by the West as well. So, straight away you can see that her, Daya Dugina, being the daughter of Alexander Dugin, was a marked lady. She was sanctioned by the West as well. Daya, I know, was called offering a book to be released about the war in Ukraine. She has visited the Donbass. She had visited Mariupol just before she got blown up, in fact. She has a PhD in philosophy and she was a future leader of Russia in some capacity. Plus, she talked about the numerous crimes that Ukraine are doing in the Donbass region. The bomb which killed Daya the daughter of Alexander Dugin blew her up in the car that Alexander Dugin himself was actually supposed to travel in. It was intended for him, it seems. But Daya, who actually normally drives another car, but on that day, that Friday, took his car, whilst Alexander went in a different car, got, got. All confirmed by the head of Russian Horizon Social Movement and a friend of Daya Dugina, a man called Andrei Kaznov. Of course, Russian media outlet are all over this. The media outlet, 112, whose video is the one doing the most viral, also confirmed that father and daughter were due to travel back together. But maybe with Rasputin-like intuition, Alexander decided to take a different car and a different route at the last minute. 
Of course, many in Russia have pinpointed that the main suspect is, of course, Ukraine. Denis Pushilin, the head of the Donetsk People's Republic, and Margarita Simonia, head of the Russian RT television channel, are amongst those. Did Ukraine do it? I cannot yet know for certain. Investigation has been launched, obviously. But if they did, stepping into the realm of political assassinations on Russian soil is incredibly dangerous. And it seriously risks danger of escalation. In fact, Margarita Simonia, head of RT, is already calling for strikes on decision-making centres in Ukraine. And we know what that means. But um, the, this idea that Alexander Dugin is some kind of a ultra-nationalist, far-right, neo-Nazi, xenophobic, is West's interpretation of it. He's no less alright uh, ultra-nationalist as Richard Spencer is to the United States or the neocons around the Biden government is to the United States or the neo-Nazis who have their tentacles in the Ukrainian government's hips is to Ukraine. Who did it? Rus Russian saboteurs, saboteurs of Ukraine in, in Russia, paid assassins, turncoat Russian personnel, the Ukrainian SBU, bribed Russian security personnel, haters. I don't know. We shall see. But Alexander Dugin was there afterwards to look and apparently he was visibly distressed. And his now only child, his son Arthur Dugin, his only child, 37 years old, needs to travel very carefully. We shall see what investigation brings out down down the line. Stay with Royal France for updates. But rest in peace, Daya Dugina, who spoke out about atrocities in the Donbass, visited Mariupol, cared about Russian people, her people, was a future leader in Russia of some capacity, had a PhD in philosophy, incredibly intelligent, beautiful, and at the same time as well, wanted to ultimately have peace it's a shame it's a shame but uh, so it is we rate the investigation Berlin's France